Another Melbourne Cup day gone, another Reserve Bank meeting gone. Traditionally, the RBA tend to move interest rate speed up or down on Melbourne Cup day, but since 2011, they have not made any decisions at all. It has stayed neutral. However, it looks as though that over the next six months, the RBA could just put a gone fishing sign outside in front of the board meeting. Have a look at these comments from Glenn Stevens. In Australia, most data are consistent with moderate growth in the economy. Public spending is scheduled to be subdued. Overall, the bank still expects growth to be a little below trend for the next several quarters. And then Glenn Stevens goes on to say this about credit. Credit growth is moderate overall, but with a further pickup in recent months in lending to investors in housing assets. Dwelling prices have continued to rise. As you can see from those comments, the RBA is still quite concerned about the number of investors out there in the marketplace. Now, it's no secret that the RBA and APRA are getting together to make sure that the banks deliver on their credit policies and they're not overdoing it with some risky lending. However, I can't help but think that the market will probably look after itself before these policies are actually in place. Let's have a look at these points made by SQM Research. The month recorded a rather large surge in listings, which were expected given the slow start to the spring selling season. The greatest annual increase, however, was recorded in Darwin. Stock levels are up 31.9% on October 2013. And Hobart was the only city to record a yearly downturn in stock levels. In fact, they were down by 0.2%, with only 4,227 homes listed on the market. And on a monthly basis, Sydney had the highest stock increase with 21.9%. Now we have approximately 25,000 properties on the market in total in New South Wales. Now it's important to note that Louis Christopher from SQM Research believes that these figures are an abnormal surge. However, in my opinion, I don't believe that the RBA will be doing anything until the middle of next year at least. I'm Igor Damiani, I'll see you next week.